Hi guys, so welcome back to my channel. Today I decided to film my morning routine. I was up previously around 6.30 to make Nathan lunch and breakfast and then I go back to sleep and I wake up around 7.30 so I am forcing myself to get up right now. It's a struggle, I'll be wanting to hit the snooze button but you know a sister gotta get up out of bed. So here we go. So I always like to start by making my bed just so that it's done and complete before I start my day. I am like kind of a germaphobe, but I use that in the sense of like I don't like things dirty, I like things organized, I like everything put together. So I get like anxious and I can't even relax or feel comfortable if there's places inside our home that is not clean. So I always make sure to you know start where I wake up, which is in my bed, make my bed. And then I always keep a bottle of water on the side of my bed, usually put it there at night, drink a good guzzle of that because water is life, guys. If you don't drink water, get on that. Water is so important. So yes, guzzle that down before I start my day. So now I am just going into the restroom. I'm going to be obviously brushing my teeth and washing my face. I literally almost said brushing my face and washing my teeth, get it together. I've actually been told that I brush my teeth for a long time. Uh, I don't know, it's just I brush it until I feel comfortable <laughs> that my breath is fresh, you feel me? Like, And I like my teeth to look right. So I do brush for a while, it's just what I does. And I will continue to do that until there's magical or toothpaste that doesn't make me feel like I need to do that. Now I'm just rinsing my mouth out, Abby, you know, getting that all out and together and whatnot. Um, I usually uh, mouthwash, you know, gargle with mouthwash, but I'm currently just ran out of it and Nathan has his but he gets mad when I use his stuff so I'll just leave it alone now I'm just going to wash my face um, I keep my soap in the shower so that's what I was reaching for I use the Shea Moisture um, African black soap to wash my face I like it I know there's probably better things out there but so far it's it's been helpful I've been using it for about a year now so it's my definitely my go-to to wash my face I like to get that all over the only thing about it is it burns your eyes so much if you get anywhere near them so you'll see like me clenching my eyes shut like super tight because my eyes were burning like crazy this little scrubber I picked it up from Target um, it comes in really handy for just exfoliating, so I like to use that to exfoliate at least three times a week. And then just rinse that out, dry my face, pat it down. I'm probably cleaning up right now because I can't leave without cleaning. Now I am in my little beauty room slash multi-purpose as you guys saw in my apartment tour. So I keep my moisturizers in this room. I use the Prevent Sweet Almond and Macadamia Essential Oil Therapy. It's for face, body, and hair. I love it. And I use a nourishing night cream with Dead Sea Minerals. But before putting that on, I like to get wipes and just get any excess makeup I may have on that didn't come off when I wash my face just to make sure it's just not there. That's I hate that. I hate when there's just still makeup on my face like near my hairline or like a little dark underneath my eyes from mascara. So I just try to make sure that I get all of that off, anything around my neck that I may have missed because obviously I wash my face, not my neck. I like to let that dry because obviously it's 
very wet and I don't like putting lotion on top of wet skin it just feels gross so now I'm just going to moisturize my skin and my neck I actually love how this feels together I take a couple of the drops and put it in with the um, moisturizer and it just gives my skin so much life I am not even exaggerating. I know you watch so many videos, but I love how this, but I'm like literally serious. Like it feels like it's just giving my skin this glow and this refreshment and this moisturized beautifulness. And it's, it's my go-to. I use it both for my night routine and my morning routine. And like I previously stated, I like to make sure that I am moisturizing my neck. It's very important to me. I do not want to have an old looking neck when I'm freaking 30. So I like to make sure that I do that. And as you can probably even see already, my skin just has this glow. Next, I like to just brush up my eyebrows. I get my little spoolie. I just like them to be in place. I'm not like doing my eyebrows or anything, but I just like for them to be in place so they're not looking all wild and crazy. And that pretty much completes my face routine. Now I'm going over to my desk area. I'm just grabbing my Bible and my notebooks and my highlighters and my pens and all my good stuff. The book I'm currently reading is called Lies Women Believe. I will try to link it below. I did, I think it, I think it is on iBooks. So um, I'll go ahead and link it below. It's such an amazing book. It's a Christian book and it's basically for women and just different things we deal with. It's, it's an amazing, amazing book. Next, coffee. You guys know me and coffee. I don't move without coffee. Um, so I'm just preparing my coffee. My coffee is actually already brewed because I started brewing it when I woke up earlier in the morning to fix Nathan's lunch. So it's already done. I just had it staying hot. I like to use, as you guys, I think I've stated it before, I put coconut oil in my coffee. So I like to put a couple scoops in there. Some people may think it's weird, but I've actually grown accustomed to like it and it helps keep my hormone levels and my um, stress levels from going crazy from all the caffeine. And then I just drop a little bit of creamer in there. I don't put a lot of creamer at all. I actually used to drink black coffee. So now I'm just grabbing my coaster because I hate putting cups and stuff on my coffee table. And I am going to light my favorite candle. It is the chamomile and lavender. So it just gives me this soothing, relaxing scent as I sit down and enjoy my reading and my time with God and just reflecting and just having me time, you know? During this time, I also like to put on my worship music, so that's what I'm doing. I was um, um, going through my phone. I have a playlist called Worship and it just has my favorite worship songs and so half the time I have to like pause reading because I'm singing. So the book that I'm reading is called Lies Women Believe. It's by Nancy Lee DeMoss. I am at towards the end of the book. Right now, I am in the portion where she kind of explains 22 truths. Um, I'm on number seven. It focuses on 2 Corinthians 12, 9, which reads, But he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, I will boast all the more gladly about my weaknesses so that Christ's power may rest on me. That is why, for Christ's sake, I delight in weakness, in insults, in hardships, in persecutions, and in difficulties. For when I am weak, then I am strong. This scripture is so amazing to me. And this that morning that I read this, I focused on basically all the trials I face, especially dealing with like anxiety or finances or school or any marriage, children, you know, insecurities, anything that you may focus on as a weakness and how we kind of 
sulk in our weaknesses and we look at it as this like terrible thing we're dealing with when in reality Christ has said that he his strength is made perfect in our weakness for when we are weak we are strong like that to me is so powerful and I just really wanted to kind of just give a little insight on that for all of you guys that may or may not be going through things um, there's always going to be a time that you are though we are living in a fallen world and we're always going to face difficulties and I know some people's belief and trust in God um, fluctuates dependent upon what they're going through and I just want to let you know that whether you're going through a good time or a bad time my God is always present and that in your weaknesses in those things that you struggle with or those things that you feel are just these downfalls or negatives in your life or negatives about you or your personality just remember that Christ is in the midst of all of that and in the midst of your weakness is when you're the strongest if you're depending upon Christ and God and letting him be the source of your strength but thank you guys so much please don't forget to subscribe on your way out and hit the like button if you did in fact like this video and to make more videos like this Thank you guys so much. Have an amazing rest of your day. I'll see you in my next video. But until then, always remember that blessed are the pure in heart. Peace, smile, crease, cornrows, and afros.